subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel samsung galaxy note 9 if you're wondering why the lilac what happened to the blue one well if you read the community tab i sustained some damage to the screen i have a screen protector on this one now this is a zag invisible shield perfectly installed i had paid to get it installed because i'm not messing around no more with scratches and scuffs on a screen so that's what happened there let's go ahead and boot up these devices in three two one and see which one is quicker i believe it might be the iphone as the iphone 10 did win against the note 9 but we're gonna see right here live if the 8 plus can take down the note 9 or if the note 9 can take down the 8 plus these are two of my favorite current smartphones right now from both sides and you see the iphone 8 plus with the easy win over the samsung galaxy note 9 don't sleep on the 8 plus just because it's a year old this thing has a processor just like the iphone 10 which is definitely ahead of a lot of android phones even right now even though it's getting older android's having some time to catch up to apple's chip team so you've seen apple iphone 8 plus first on the boot up all right so we're in both devices we cannot test face unlock because there's only face unlock for the note 9 not for the iphone 8 plus what we can test is their fingerprints so touch id second gen versus samsung's relocated fingerprints so let's go ahead and test this out in three two one and you can see samsung way faster let's do this again three two and one and you could see Samsung's animation just so much faster here for the fingerprint. So yeah, Samsung has the faster fingerprint sensor here for the Note 9, but we know Apple's not really doing fingerprint sensors anymore. So take it for what it's worth. Okay, so we've arrived at the application portion of this speed test, three gigs of RAM, Apple A11 Bionic on the left. You can see everything closed out. I'm running iOS 11.4.1. On the right, we do have Samsung Experience version 9.5, Android 8.1 Oreo. 1x animations, 8 gigs of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage, 845 Snapdragon CPU, Adreno 630 in-house GPU for the Apple iPhone 8 Plus. Let's show you that everything's closed out here and everything again closed out here. Let's begin with settings 3, 2, 1. And you can see that looked like the Note 9 coming home. Let's go into the clock 3, 2, 1. And you can see pretty close to even on that one coming home. You can see the Note 9 seems to fly back to the home screen first. Let's go into phone and you could see that looked like the iPhone 8 Plus for the phone dialer coming home. Let's go into the calculator and you can see that was very close again. I think it might have been a Note 9 slightly. I think True Tone or maybe Night Shift's on here for the 8 Plus. Yeah, it's True Tone. Let me turn that off. It makes the screen look a little bit yellow. Let's go into the Instagram. Three, two, one and see which one is first and that looks like it is the note 9 yes you see the notifications right there and let's go ahead and hit this right here and you see the 8 plus a little faster there let's open up a photo and animations are a little bit different but overall pretty similar speeds across the board here in instagram coming home let's go into twitter and you can see twitter is open first on the right for the samsung galaxy note 9 and then we're going to go into snapchat you can see snapchat on the right let's go into whatsapp let's head over into youtube and you can see that's going to be the iphone 8 plus there let's come over here into this and let's go into trending tab and 8 plus again so very fast performance on both 8 plus wins a little bit there on youtube let's go into prime video and you can see prime video is first for i think it's going to be the 8 plus oh we got an ad here we got an ad for the uh note 9 so we're gonna have to do that one again let me go ahead and close out amazon prime video sometimes you get an ad so that makes it unfair let's do prime video one more time and you could see that time it was the note 9 so pretty close but i think the note 9 just slowed down a little bit because amazon gave us an ad let's go into amazon and see which one is first it's the note 9 here coming home let's go into ebay and you can see eBay is first on the right over the 8 plus. And let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And you can see gaming, Note 9 for the win there on the load time. So, you know, in the past, a lot of, you know, Samsung phones could never really hold their own against iPhones when it comes to the speed department. But these days, you're not really going to be deciding on just speed alone. But we make these tests so you can just see what is going to be the better performer in the day to day. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2, 3, 2, 1. And you can see graphically intensive game here. The 8 Plus is ahead. Now the Note 9. 
and the note 9 i did put the high graphics settings before this test you can see good performance here for the iphone 8 plus and over here great performance as well i personally still find the graphics to look better on the iphone i don't know what it is even with high graphics settings on the note 9. let's go into pubg mobile 3 2 1. i might speed this up if it takes a while to load because this game takes quite some time to load on both platforms Hey, welcome back. The iPhone 8 Plus was ready to play the game way ahead of the Note 9, so I'm giving the 8 Plus the win on the load time, but what about actually starting the match? 3, 2, 1, and you can see it looks like the 8 Plus is ahead here, but the Note 9 catching up. Who's going to actually get into this match first? And it's the iPhone 8 Plus, so I'm tending to see a little bit better performance on the 8 Plus for gaming still, even here in 2018. Let's go into Slither. And you can see Slither first on the left. Let's hit play against AI. Very similar performance here. But these are only fractions of a second difference, like milliseconds. So, you know, neither one of these are going to disappoint you in any of this performance stuff, like even gaming. Let's go into Geekbench. And you can see Geekbench, again, pretty close to equal. Let's do speed test. And speed test for the Note 9 on the right. And Video Shop. And you could see that was pretty close to a draw. You're going to have to let me know that one down below. It's kind of hard to see these through camera. They're so close these days. All right, quickly, I'm just going to run through them and multitasking to see if we get any reloads here on either. Both holding that. Let's go into Geekbench. Same stuff. Slither. And let's go into PUBG Mobile. And no reloads here on either so far. Nice stuff. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 pretty good stuff holding that in the background let's go into jetpack joyride and even with the 8 gigs of ram it looks like the iphone 8 plus is a little bit smoother looking when it reopens its apps but i'm sure the note 9 could probably hold more in the background let's go into prime video reload here for prime video another ad but still i mean it didn't hold where we were so i'm still counting that against the note 9 on that one let's go into youtube and now we got to reload for the iPhone 8 Plus, whereas the Note 9 held it. So they're pretty much still draw here. Let's go into WhatsApp and let's go into Snapchat and let's go into Twitter and let's go into Instagram. And you could see that's where we last were and calculator. And let's go into phone, about the same. So you can see clock. And I could tell you right now, the Note 9 has definitely shown a difference from my Note 8 in performance. You've seen in this multitasking round, neither had a problem. I had like five tabs open, like five little pop view windows. And you could see it on my Instagram link down below. This thing still was not stuttering at all. So this thing is a powerhouse, but so is the iPhone 8 Plus. Great performance in this application multitasking speed test so far. Okay, guys, so we've arrived at the video rendering portion. I do have a 40 second clip here on the left and a 40 second clip here on the right. We're going to go ahead and render this out on both phones. You can see I have this in 1080p maxed out and 30 FPS because that's what I shot it in. We're going to hit gallery and hit next over here. Three, two, and one. And see which one can compile this first. Looks like the Note 9 is off to the races, but can the iPhone 8 Plus win? And wow, that was super close. I'm going to call that one pretty close to a draw on this one. So this app just got updated for Android. You've seen in some of the prior videos that they kept losing to the iPhones, but pretty close on the render there. Although I do think in a 4K render test, the iPhone would be a little faster as I've seen, you know, just editing myself on the iPhone versus, you know, like a Samsung or even a Google Pixel Android phone. You know, the iPhone typically does win, but here it was pretty close. Okay, so we're going to do a quick internet test on both devices. Samsung internet on the right and Apple Safari internet on the left. Let's go to the Nick Ackerman channel.com to get things started. Nick Ackerman and channel.com. And let's type that in over here. Let's type in Nick Ackerman channel.com. Nick Ackerman, am I spelling that right? Channel dot com all right let's hit go three two and one and see which one gets there first and it looks like it's the samsung device on the right zooming is super similar not a big difference here so when you are browsing i mean this is crazy how similar these phones are these days it really doesn't matter which one you go with anymore when it comes to you know any type of performance that's how fast our phones are 
these days but you've seen right there let's go ahead and do one more website let's go to yahoo.com just because it's a pretty mainstream website let's go into yahoo.com here yahoo it's trying to recommend but i can't spell right now through the lens you can see dot com and let's hit go on both in three two one and you could see looks super similar let's just hit this first article very similar so i mean either one you go with browsing is going to be very similar bigger display on the note 9 higher resolution so it might be a little bit better for that but then again if you don't like oled displays you like lcd for reading the iphone 8 plus can be great too okay guys so here we are with both devices on a wi-fi speed test the note 9 is said to have faster modems than the iphone 8 plus so let's see how true that is in this video let's go into iphone 8 plus that might be more effective on your mobile data but we're going to test it anyway here on wi-fi to see if there's any discernible difference so you can see both do support the ac standard and we are at 165 on the download and a pretty respectable 12 on the upload here and let's go ahead and check out the galaxy note 9's speed here for the download and you could see 170 175 172 38 okay where are we gonna finish at maybe a little higher maybe 180 let's see what we're gonna finish at here and we're gonna rock it out at 178 megs down so a decent improvement over the iphone 8 plus now on the upload we're seeing about the same numbers we might even see less than the iphone 8 plus so you can see right here 12.089 12 12.2 so barely beats it on the upload but definitely better on the download so i do think that you do have faster download speeds and upload speeds for the note 9 whether you're on wi-fi or you're on lte so keep that in mind if you are buying one of these two phones okay so the final geekbench scores are in and we do have another win of course for the iphone here on geekbench what else is new the a11 has shattered the boards when it comes to geekbench but you can't take away from the chipset that's in the note 9 it's a beast the phone has a lot of ram tons of storage it's very fast and respectable itself okay guys so we've arrived at the final conclusion and my conclusion is just like some of the other ones before it these phones are pretty equal in performance i think the iphone 8 plus still has better gaming uh experience and performance when it comes to the applications but the note 9 has so many features that the iphone 8 plus can only dream of having like pop view window you have the s pen capabilities it's more like a full you know computer in a phone kind of system whereas this is more of just a very fast efficient mobile operating system in ios and i know this video is not going to change you if you're an ios or a note user if you're a note user you're gonna love this if you're an iphone user you're probably still gonna stick with this but when people some people say you know it's pointless to make these videos about speed well i disagree because when you're investing you're not just purchasing you're investing 800 in this case over a thousand dollars for a phone that thing better perform well and in this case they both do that exceptionally but if you guys want to see a full comparison between the iphone 8 plus and the samsung note 9 or if you just want me to skip that one out and do the iphone 10 plus is coming to replace this uh, versus this one go ahead and comment down below or both we can do both of them as well i appreciate you guys watching you don't know how much i appreciate you guys engaging with these videos continuing the comment it's so fun to continue to be able to do this and help you decide which phones to get uh, my deepest gratitudes go out to you and subscribe if you haven't already i got plenty more content